Leave it. Leave that alone. Get a dog, they said. Get a puppy, they said. Bitch, it's five in the morning and I'm outside. He has been hollering, screaming, and acting a fucking fool. I don't even be knowing what's up with Coda sometimes. He's about to go back to sleep for a second, but he just had to take a little potty break. I'm gonna show y'all some of his tricks he know right quick while he got all this energy. <laughs> Come here. Good boy. Coda, sit. Good boy. Give me paw. Good boy. He's just eight weeks old. Come home. And that's on period. Go to bed. I just fed him his breakfast, but I'm about to start getting myself ready because I have a hair appointment at eight o'clock. So I have time, but I might go grab some coffee. I do have some lashes that I could put on, so I might do that because I haven't worn lashes in a while. I'm gonna just probably do my eyebrows, maybe a little bit of concealer and just nothing else because I'm really not digging the whole full face of makeup. I feel like a mom, so it's like I put my child over me. I haven't got ready. I haven't been any type of cute since I got Coda. I got these pack of lashes a little bit ago off of Timu. I'm probably gonna try these out. Oh, I didn't take my vitamins. I seen somebody on TikTok post about these, so I got them. I tried them out and I actually really like them. Then I've been taking the Health by Habit Women's Multivitamin. It's a super multi for super women with vitamins A, B1, B2, B6. Basically a lot of good stuff. So I take one of these, two of these, and two of these. Two of these, one of these, that's all. I'm honestly really debating if I actually want to do my lashes because they just take forever to get off of your actual lashes. I'll just do it. It won't hurt. Kept it all up here, hoping to ten Move it when you're friends You know how I spend it Nick, O-U-S-T-O-N I get too crazy Had a little bad enough We stay good friends We get too crazy All I know is that when this cup ends The next one begins My bad, you know me Makeup is done. We're not gonna address the elephant in the room, which just happens to be my hair. It's fucked up. It is 721, and I'm trying to think if I could make it to Duncan right now because the Duncan line is so fucking long. It'd be longer than Starbucks, and it takes so long to move. I'm gonna probably just run to Duncan like right now and my PJs and everything. Run to Duncan right now, go get my coffee, come back, take off my wig, and then we'll be going to um get our hair done after that. And I, that means I also have to get dressed. I'll probably get dressed right now too. That way I can save time when I come back because I have like less than an hour. So actually, hey, thank you for the kisses. It's 7.30 and I just don't want to risk it. So we're just probably going to go to Dunkin' F. <sighs> Why are you crying? Y'all see how he just cries for no reason? I'm just going to go to Dunkin' after I get my hair done. Plus I'll actually be hungry then and I'm not hungry right now. So in the meantime, before I go, I'm just about to take Koto on a quick little walk because he did eat. So he probably has to take a shit. Y'all, this boy acts a fool on his leash. Y'all, we, we're still working on it. Dakota James. Stop, I'm not trying to play with you. I'm trying to take you on the wall. This man literally acts like he's gonna die if he's on the leash, but now he's taking a shit, which is good. He always tries to run in the house after he finishes peeing because he thinks, I don't know what he thinks. And then eventually after he finishes peeing, I just drop his leash, that way he can roam freely. I literally look like somebody fucking grandma. <laughs> like, what the fuck? It is 7.56. I'm just now leaving the house. Good thing my stylist shop isn't too far away from me. So I have the ability to be just about almost late and still not be late. My mom is watching Coda for me. Oh, I just flew over that speed bump. It is cold outside. Like, it feels, oop, I just slid in front of that. I almost got hit by a trash truck. There is a lot going on, okay. 
after I get my hair done, I'm gonna go grab some food and then rush back to the house to my child. But it is nice to have some help because the first couple days, y'all, I was doing everything by myself. I was so overwhelmed that I was like crying and I was just thinking like, maybe a puppy is just not for me. I just hadn't had no sleep. He sleeps a little bit more through the night now, so that's good. He's just doing a lot better. It's 7.58. I will see y'all when I get to my hair appointment. It's 8.04, I just got here, and I'm actually here before Alicia, so period. I can take off my glasses now. I'm about to get slayed. I still don't know if I wanna do a middle part or a side part. I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all my hair. So my hair is from Hair Spills. I think they sent me over a 24 inch body wave, 13 by four frontal. It's just in the natural black color. If y'all don't know, body wave side part is like my signature, but ever since I got straight hair in the middle part, I really been liking straight hair in the middle part. I don't know if I wanna do side parts, just kinda of switch it up because I haven't done that in a while, which I think I might do that side part on me is just so cute now this is this hair straight out of the bag it is literally so freaking cute look at the lace and i just know alicia is going to slay this wig like there's no if ands or buts about it if you live in my city and you can get ace by alicia child come get ace by alicia it also comes with the little information card on how to maintain the hair it's a hundred percent virgin human hair brazilian hair and yeah i'm about to go get aced and I'll talk to y'all after my appointment. I had my hair appointment and my man bought me Duncan. I was actually gonna go get it by myself, but he just went ahead and brought it to me. He got me a medium ice caramel craze with three caramel swirls, two French vanilla swirls, milk, whipped cream, one caramel drizzle, one cinnamon and sugar and sweet cream cold foam. It's just how it looks. I think I'm becoming a Dunkin' girl. Usually I'm more of a Starbucks type of girl, but Dunkin' just been hitting a little bit too good lately. So for like the past three days, I've been drinking Dunkin'. And this is so good. Normally I get something else kind of like this. This is really good. I really like the cinnamon and sugar that's on top. see so the hair is done we went back to the basics with the you know side part bust down with the curls i am about to go home because i desperately have to pee and then i need to check on my baby he is fine i was texting my mom like the whole entire time so that's what we need to do oh i'm over here looking everywhere else up behind me i literally hate getting out of here because pulling out of here your car is basically in the street and then on top of that you can't see around the curb for real so you literally have to like pull out fast as hell so you won't get hit i'm hot too i really need to change it was like 60 this morning when i came outside yesterday it was cold as hell too because we just had a hurricane pass through but now it's 80 degrees and i'm hot as fuck i have on shorts though and i'm still hot as hell yesterday i literally wore uggs that's how fucking cold it was it felt like ugg season i'm not the girly who's gonna wait until it's 30 degrees to throw on them uggs soon as it's cold you might as well just pass me my uggs because i'm wearing them so i'm not back home it is 11 41 i just fed coda he eats like i don't feed him at all he will clear his whole bowl 
and then just be looking around for more like no you're gonna be overweight i need to make sure i'm watching how much i feed him he does have a vet appointment on sunday which is in two days so i'm gonna ask them how much should he be eating like exactly you want to get on the bed huh it's just a little baby say hi to your aunties and uncles he's probably about ready for a nap so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna give him a nap that's such a sweet boy such a sweet boy now he'll probably take a nap and i'll figure out what i'm about to do next so my boy is asleep he was on my bed sleeping at first and then i moved him to his crate i feel like having a puppy is like my whole personality right now it's just puppy 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 so i'm happy that i you know took some time and got my hair done today i did my makeup i got ready normally i'm just trying to get in where i fit in he's the star of the show and when he's napping is when it's me time i also post him on my instagram like literally every single day because he's like the cutest little thing ever and in my brain i birthed him like he is my son my tiktok for you page is now full of dogs because i'm just so interested on like what other people do with their puppies and i want to know like what works what doesn't i feel like the system that i've got going on right now is really good the only thing that he's still not progressing on is wearing his leash he hates walking on the leash i don't know why he will literally not walk and i don't want to drag him and force him to walk i really don't know what to do about that at first he did not like his collar but he wears it 24 7 now but yeah if y'all do have any tips or tricks on how to get this man to walk on a leash and actually like it please let me know and also yesterday i was so proud of him when i was taking him outside there was like a group of like eight or nine kids and he did so well with them they wanted to play with him and i looked at it like hey please play with him because i want him to be good with kids so i'm really happy and i told them whenever they want to play with coda just knock on the door after they get out of school and i'll let him come out and play with them just as like socialization because i don't want him to be mean to kids bite kids i want him to like you know i let him touch his ears and his mouth and his paws that way he's used to not just me touching it and he does very good he doesn't bite he does puppy bite but that's just normal but he doesn't like bite aggressively obviously right now it just doesn't hurt but i'm trying to also get him out of puppy biting he, he didn't bite the kids though which is crazy because he bites me that's just my coda update for right now um i'm about to straighten up my room a little bit because like i said when coda is asleep this is my time to just get everything done asleep i'm gonna take some quiet time and just plan content because it is september 1st and i want to have my month planned out i kind of started planning a little bit early wrote some ideas down last night and the day before that if you've been watching me recently then you would know that this is my journal that i write like everything in and i'm not even sure if i wrote down my august stats so i'm just going to fill in the goals that i hit for august just update this at the beginning of every month i write down how many subscribers i have my watch time my estimated revenue that way i can see how much i progressed by the end of september so that's what i'm gonna go ahead and do right now just woke up from their nap that coda bear so now 
he is about to go potty i actually have an app that i use to track every single time he uses the bathroom every time he sleeps every time he eats and it's called doggy time and if you're getting a new pup i definitely recommend getting this app so as you can see it just tracks everything and i've been tracking everything he's been doing since the day that i got him i think or the day after some days i'm really like lazy with it like today go potty as soon as i see that he's using the bathroom i'll just go and click p right now he wants to play so he wants to chase me also another thing about coda is that he hates coming outside during these times he'll literally hide in the bushes as he's doing right now because he doesn't like being in the sun you can't even see him come here coda why are you in there i'm gonna have him chase me and get all his energy out He's whining. I don't know if y'all heard him. He whines every single time he's done using the bathroom and he's done playing. Like I said, he hates coming outside during this time of the day because I guess it's just too hot for him. And he knows where home is, which is where he's running, which is good. I taught him, come home. All right, y'all, so it is now 440. I'm chilling, just watching YouTube. Right now, I'm watching my girl, Kaya. She just posted not too long ago. Coda was next to me, but he moved away because I guess the computer is too loud. I'm actually very hungry, so I might go get some food. I kind of want hibachi, so I might get hibachi, but I'm waiting for my man to get back because I really don't feel like driving. I feel like recently I just haven't been talking to y'all and showing my full personality. If y'all follow Mac Nicole, she posted something on her spam page. It just really spoke to me because if, if y'all don't know, Michaela is like one of my closest friends. And I was just talking to her about like how I feel like I just needed a rebrand. I was also saying that in my last video, I just couldn't put my finger on why I needed it. And she made a post a lot of YouTubers are trying to fit into an aesthetic lifestyle when they're not like that like that's not them and i grew my channel off of being me like michaela and when i reposted it on my spam i got a lot of dms saying like i feel like after high school you just kind of switched up your content you weren't so realistic with my recent videos if you compare like a video from a month ago to like one of my two most recent videos you would see like a switch i'm not trying to be so aesthetic i'm not trying to be somebody that i'm not i'm showing more my personality i realized i was trying to fit myself into a box that I am not in you know some days I do wake up at 6 a.m and be very productive and I do this and I do that like that's also in my real life I'm not saying all of the past videos were just fake because that was still me but I feel like I was dumbing down my personality and kind of trying to fit myself into a box now I'm so much more motivated to push out content and so much more motivated to edit videos like, everything is just not so picture perfect and I know I can make it seem that way but yeah it was just something that I had to realize I'm so thankful for Michaela. I literally love this girl like my mom had her. Like the most unexpected friendship. I don't know. I don't want to get sappy because Michaela is still a punk. And also like to be honest, if you have been subscribed to me for a long time, like you're an OG, you would know that I shared so much of my life on social media. Like even down to the stuff that didn't need to be shared low key, like the arguments and all that other stuff. I understand like everything does not have to be on social media, especially like my relationship. I kept that shit off the internet. I haven't really been talking about my boyfriend or I haven't really been doing too much. I know I made the mistake of going live and talking shit and just being Michaela, just being Michaela on the internet. People think I'm just this perfect person because of what I post on social media and it just wasn't adding up. Like I don't want to do that because of what y'all have to say about me like will i go live again and talk about my relationship problems or any problems that i have in my life ever no i felt like i wanted to put my boyfriend in my content but couldn't because of what y'all would say and to be honest i just want to say fuck anybody who has an opinion about my man i'm just done trying to fit into a box or do this and do that to make other people happy with my channel if you don't support me and my boyfriend being together Okay, don't watch. If you see him in the video, click out. That's fine. I really just say all that to say. Moral of the story. The context of the conclusion. <laughs> I'm just so happy that I flipped the page and I'm back showing my real life on social media. I'm not saying that there won't be any more aesthetic videos. I'm just saying I'm being myself. Y'all came here to see me, Michaela Omari, on my daily life. Girl, y'all just want to see me and I want to see y'all. I want to talk to y'all. We like this, okay? I, I just had a rant right quick. I've been talking for literally 15 minutes. 
So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, turn off the camera now. It's 8.17. My man just got here literally not too long ago. So we're finally about to go get some food. I was waiting on him to eat because I just wanted to eat with him. He got a haircut. He was in another city. He was just doing a whole bunch of whole lot of whole lot of. I don't know what we're going to eat. Probably hibachi because that's what I got a taste for. Plus I want some sushi. Nothing much is really going on. I was just on live with Not Asia. I'm tired. My sleep schedule is like an old lady because I'm up at 5 a.m. just about every day with Coda. It's 8. I'll probably be sleeping by like 10 to be honest. Clothes on, tell the DJ to play Don't your song. It's a full moon, <laughs> so we just got back home. We got our food. If y'all hear the bowl rattling, it's our nephew. So we both got sushi. He got Philadelphia roll, which is basically salmon, cream cheese, and avocado. And then I got shrimp tempura, which is, I can't remember, but I know it has spicy mayo and eel sauce on top. Then I got a hibachi shrimp bowl with just broccoli. And then I got hibachi chicken fried rice. So I asked y'all to ask me questions on my spam. I'm just gonna pick through and answer them while we eat. Question number one is how long have we been together? We haven't been together for what? Nothing but like a year. Like we haven't dated, officially dated for nothing but like a year. Yeah. But how long have we been talking to each other? Seven. About eight years. Five, almost six years. I don't think it's six years. That's yet. what you said. Yeah. Question number two is, what's our age? I'm 19. I'm 20. <laughs> a lot of people ask, do we plan on getting married? That's my plan. I don't know about hers. I told them my plan is you got to tell them yours. Will you marry me? Yes, I would marry you. So yeah, I guess you plan on getting married. Somebody said, what's the hardest thing you guys had to go through in y'all's relationship? Probably me cheating. In the last situation that I went live about and told y'all about, that shit almost took me out, literally. Somebody said, how many kids do we want? I feel like one oh. is fine. <clears throat> yeah, I about to say one, but, man, but I like, really want like two. But two is fine, but twins run on my side of the family. Yeah. So, so we have twins. we ever have twins and that's just gonna be it. The next question is, who said I love you first? Me. Not the first week. Birthday. Maddie said, just want to say I'm proud of y'all for never giving up on each other. Thank you, Maddie. I love you. We can always love Maddie. How did y'all meet? And what's y'all first impressions on each other? Um, so let's just put it like we met through somebody mutual. Winter. Winter of 2017 or 2018. And we were just friends. Like like I said, it was just somebody mutual in between us. So our little, y'all know like when y'all was younger, y'all would do like titles. And our title for each other was friend. So it was like, oh, hey friend, hey friend type shit, you know? After a while, we just kind of lost contact with each other. And then he followed me on Instagram. And he was like, oh, you want to FaceTime? So we FaceTime. And we was on the phone for like... 20 hours or something like that <laughs> through the night first impressions though i really don't remember my first impression on her was i really don't remember either before we started dating like we sneaky linked for like a long day of time not really yeah not a long long, long but like time. summer 2021 that was my little shit, you know <laughs> the fuck? somebody said turn on and turn off about each other Go my first. turn on about her is she don't really gotta do too much my turn off is about her. I don't like that little shit that she, she be doing, but she really knows she wrong and she try to talk shit knowing she wrong. So the fact that I think I'm right all the time? No, not even that. It's just like when you know you dead ass wrong, bruh. Turn off? He lies about tiny little shit. It's never no big shit. The other day he was like, oh, I'm about to go get some food and I'll be right back. Why did this man come in the house hours later? 
Then we'll hours later. Well, you could have just said, okay, well, I'm finna go do this, 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 and this, this, and this. And he don't lie about no big shit. It just be little, small shit. You could have just said, oh, I'm about to do this, this, and this. Honestly, that's another turn off about her, too. Because she do the same shit. Like, bro, she lie about a little shit. Like, she gonna die. Like. Turn on. First one that popped to my head is, is seeing him actually become a dog dad. Sometimes he can be very, very patient because me, I'm very, once I feel the way I feel, it's just that. Somebody asks, how do y'all know y'all connection is strong? I just feel like when you know, you know. Yeah. Also, another thing that was kind of like big for us is if you're willing to change for somebody. If you're not willing to change. Yeah, real fast. I've been on the same shit for a couple of years. When I finally found a person that I know loved me and that uh, loved me the correct way, I already knew I had the right connection I needed for real. Y'all, do y'all think we have cute kids? Bro, bro, they got hair in my shit, bro. Are you serious? Ew, that's yours, nigga. You just scratching your head. Somebody say, how tall are we? D5-1, I'm, um, I'm like 5'9". Five, 5'2 <laughs> five, with some attitude. <laughs> she 4'9 with no damn mind. <laughs> So it is now 11:21. Both of the boys are sleeping. I was the last one up because I had to take my makeup off and everything like that. But I'm now in the bed and I just wanted to end the video off here before I go to sleep and forget. Both of them are low-key like deep sleepers, so I don't even know why I'm whispering. I just feel like it's the right thing to do. But yeah, make sure you check the description box down below. All of my socials are linked down there because that's where I'm at when I'm not on here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you very soon with a brand new video.